Uh, let's take a look at Project File Management, Project Setup, and Templates in New Window 11. When you first start a New Window 11 project, the Stenberg Hub window will come up. Now, if you don't see this window, um, make sure under Preferences, General, Use Hub is checked. Now, if you look at the Stenberg Hub, you have different options for project file management. You have the most recent project, which are .npr for New Window Project, will show up in here. You can define a specific location by clicking on Prompt for Project Locations and define a directory where you want to save the project and then open a brand new project here. That's one option. Second option, let's not save that. I'll go back to Hub. Second option is to create different locations. So I uh, use a default locations. A default location in this case would be my desktop. The project folder will be called demo. I can click on here and rename that folder and call it demo. And then we can then create a project. Now, if we look under Hub, under this project location, we assign user location and we look under Desktop, we can see my demo folder I just created and it automatically create an audio folder within that folder. Let's cancel this. Now I can save and name my project. Let's call it Demo1. And it will save that NPR session, that new window project within that folder with the audio folder. And I'll save it there. Now if we go back to Hub, and choose my demo directory here, you can see my project showing up here. Now I can also search other directories for new window project. For example, if I look into this directory here, it will show me which uh, new window project I have in that particular directory. And I can switch back and forth between the two. Now that I have properly saved and named a project, I can start to customize the project framework starting with the setup window layouts on the upper right corner here. In this case, I want the status line and full line to be visible, as well as the transport bar at the bottom here. If we go to the upper right corner here, the setup toolbar, I can start to show and hide different functions uh, that I'd like to access on the toolbar. And directly below that, I have the status line, which I made visible. And the status line allows me to access the audio connection. So I can start to create buses, input buses, output buses, uh, control room, etc. I can also press the F4 key to access the audio connections. If you uh, click on the record maximum time, it will give you, it will open a window and give you the maximum recording time for the selected hard drive. You also have a record format I have showing up here, uh, which if you click on it, it will bring up the project window. You can also, if you roll over a different function, uh, press and hold Shift S, will open the project setup window. Now if we drag and drop an audio file in here, you could see that the info line will show up in this section here with the setup info line option which allows you to hide and show different attribute, different functions in here. Now the info line allows you to manipulate an event. For example, you can move an event to a different location in the timeline. You can change the volume value, the clip gain on that selected event. You can also transpose it, mute based on the functions that you have visible here. You can also change the extensions directly from here. And if I press and hold option and copy these files, I just have multiple tracks and I can select all the events and still use the info line to make changes. Move all clips to different position. I can fade in and out directly from here if I want to. Change clip gain on all the clips, inverse, transpose, etc. directly from the info line. Now, if I right click on the track and go to control track settings, I'll be able to show and hide again different functions for each track types. Same option for the inspector on the right here, where I can show and hide different functions in here. And if you go to the bottom here, we also can show and hide different functions for the transport part as well. Once you have defined the framework of a project, based on the project settings, sample rate, um, project time display, etc. 
as well as the audio connections, the inputs, outputs, buses, so figure out the control room. You can start adding tracks, different track types, audio instruments, samplers, MIDI, VCA, etc., marker tracks, etc. Maybe adding colors and start saving templates. So you could just go under File and Save Templates and start saving different template types. For example, 128 channels recording uh, at 96K. Let's save another one here. ADR templates at 48K, etc. And then you can simply go to Hub now, look under Templates, and you'll be able to see all the templates you already have saved. So that can save you a lot of times figuring out a project. You already have the right sample rate, the height parameters, the, the defined framework you want to work with.